All right, well, I'm still working with the new Laser Saber uh, Super Jewel Ringer 2.0, and I've tried a few other bulbs on it today. Uh, I've got a 2.5 watt uh, Lights of America LED. I tried an incandescent bulb, a nightlight bulb, and then a gutted CFL that has no uh, guts in it. I just took the guts out. And then I added a potentiometer here uh, with a little uh, 100 ohm resistor, 5K pot between the base and the plus rail and switched over to a 2N3055 with a heat sink and I'm still having heating problems so I'm not sure I've got everything set up right here but I wanted to show the amp draw today so let me turn this on and um, I'm going to show this incandescent bulb first here okay there's the amp draw on that it's uh, about 0.8 there's the incandescent bulb now let me take this bulb out, and there's no load on it now. None of these bulbs are on, but the circuit is still running. You can see it there. And I discovered this today. This is one of my little um, uh, high-voltage uh, in the air testers. It's an AV plug, and look at this. I'm just tapping this with my finger here, and that's coming on. So this is acting like an exciter, this circuit here, and it's kind of wired like a Slayer exciter. And if I tap this onto the battery here, bingo. So I've got uh, even this up here. I've got an exciter going on here, which is kind of bizarre. By the way, these two little wires here are the other part of that primary uh, bifiler widening. And two of the leads are just left open. Uh, they're not connecting anything. You just use the first two, or two of the wires on it. And you can see that's running at about uh, 300, uh, 300 milliamps. Okay, let me turn, uh, turn the CFL on here. Let me crank up on the potentiometer. And watch this come on. And there's the CFL. And you can see now my amp draw is about uh, three quarters of a, of a volt an amp and there's the CFL now the CFL won't work with these other things uh, for some reason I can't get them all to go but let me turn on the lights of America bulb here and there's the lights of America bulb you hear the transformer got a little bit of squeal going on there let me turn on the the big bulb I showed last night now I'm still down there at, the, at less than an amp and I've got two of these bulbs running here. And the other thing I can do is I can plug the incandescent back in here. And now that's running too. And I'm just under one amp on this and I've got these three things going on now. And if this is tuned up right, the transformer doesn't squeal. And I'm just under one one amp with the transformer not squealing with these uh, three different bulbs on here. Like I say, the incande or the uh, CFL won't light up for some reason when I've got these three on. But uh, anyway, that's that's what I wanted to show tonight was this thing here, and then the fact that um, if I turn these bulbs off, I can leave that one on and still get this uh, this effect with the uh, the high voltage all over the place and I'm not sure what that's all about I, I took a look at the frequency it's 150 to 180 kilohertz that I'm showing but I think it's a compound uh, frequency I, I think what's going on here is I've got one of those compounding frequencies um, sets of frequencies like what you see in the Dr. Stifler uh, SEC uh, circuits so Anyway, that's just what I wanted to show tonight was my progress with the Slayer, I'm sorry, the uh, um, Laser Saber Super Jewel Ringer 2.0. Thanks for watching.